this video, I'm going to go over the basics of using our Freeform Lighter Diagram, or FFLD, editor in the KSIDE software. This includes how we organize our programs in the different networks, how you can add networks and also add comments to them. Also, how you can add contacts and coils, the different types of contacts and coils that we offer in our Ladder programming environment. I'm starting out with a blank Freeform Ladder Diagram project in the KSIDE software. We organize our ladder programs into different networks that are numbered sequentially automatically. So right now, if I just have one network, you don't have to break your program up into multiple networks. You can just have one very large network that has all of the rungs of your ladder program. And then if you wanted to, you can hit insert on your keyboard or right click and choose insert row in order to make more space for you. It is beneficial to add multiple networks because once you have them, you can close them. It helps troubleshooting, especially when you break your code in the smaller sections. Also, later when you get into jumping, you can only jump to the top of a network. So if you're going to use jumping in your program, you're going to have to break it down to multiple networks. In order to add a new network, I can once again do it through a right-click menu and choose Insert Network. Or there is a button in the editor, this two parallel lines. If I hover over, it says Insert a Network. I can click on that and then click in my program where I want to add it. As I said, it will automatically number them. And you can also break a network up in the middle. So if I clicked here, it would shift everything down. So network three became network four and I added network three in the middle. Also, networks are where you can add long comments. If I double click on any of the networks, I start at network one, you can give it a label. I will just call this label from network one. And I add a comment, test comment one. Once so I'm done, you can see this gets shown in the ladder editor. And later when we get to jumps, you'll be able to choose and you jump to the label, which is a string based name, not number. This is because as you add networks, the numbers can change, but the labels won't. So you'll always jump to the same location. You also can now add comments in the middle on any cell of the ladder editor. It's the last button at the bottom, insert cell comment or shift C, allow you to choose to once again have two vertical bars, but this way going vertically. If I double click, I can enter any text I want. As you can see, even if it goes out the single cell, it will still show all of it unless you added an object to the right here. Then it would be cut off, but you can always double click to see what was in the longer comment. We have six different contacts and six different coils to add to our ladder diagram programs. To add them, you can first select the button of the type that you want. First, I'm going to add just the standard or normally open contact. And then, once that button is selected, you can click on any cell in the editor to drop or place it. It will pop up with a list of all the Boolean variables that you can map to that contact or coil. Or, you can start typing a new variable name. And if I hit enter, it will pop up and allow you to declare this variable right from the ladder editor. So you don't have to do it separately in the dictionary. I can also click the different types to add the different types of contacts. Or one shortcut is you can, when a contact or coil is highlighted, you can hit spacebar to cycle through all the different types that we have. The first, or normally open, will allow power to flow through it when the variable assigned to it is true. The second, or normally closed, will be the opposite. It will allow power to flow through while that variable is false. Next is the P or pulse coil. It will allow power to flow through when the variable inside goes on a rising edge, or when in the previous scan it was false, and the next scan it was true. Normally this will only be true for one scan then. Then we have the not or negated pulse coil. This will allow power to flow through all the time except on the rising edge 
or when a variable goes from false to true. We also have the N or falling edge. This is also a pulse coil, but on the falling edge, so it will only allow power flow through when the variable goes from true to false. And then lastly, we have the negation or not version of that. It will power, allow power to flow through all the time except when the variable inside of it has the falling edge or was true in the previous scan and is false in the next scan. We also have six different coils you can add to your ladder programs. You add them in the same way as you do contacts. You choose the one that you would like, then click on it, or as you see as I hover over a button, it will give you the keyboard shortcut. Power users may memorize these to be a little more efficient. Once you have one selected, you can drop it into your program, and the same pop-up window will come up with a list of all Boolean variables in your program. I'm going to create a new one. And coils act as outputs in the ladder world. So with this standard coil, when power is flowing to it, it will make the assigned variable, or in this case, new coil var, uh, true. Just like contacts, if I select a coil and hit spacebar on my keyboard, it'll cycle through different types. So the other types we have are normally closed. When power is flowing to this coil, the variable will be made false. We have a reset coil. When power is flowing to it, it will reset or make the variable false. But if power is not flowing to it, nothing will happen, meaning it can a reset coil can only make the variable false. It cannot make it true. The S, or set coil, is the opposite of the reset coil, meaning when power is flowing to it, it will make the containing variable true. If no power is flowing to it, nothing will happen. So it can only make the variable true. It can never make it false. Usually the set and reset are done in pairs, so in one part of your program you have a set coil, somewhere else you have the reset coil. We also have the P, or pulse coil, which is similar to the pulse contact, where when power flows through it on the rising edge, so when power first flows through it, it'll make the variable containing variable true, but otherwise it will stay false. We also lastly have the N, or the falling edge coil, this is when power flow first stops going through, meaning the previous cycle it had power and this current cycle it doesn't, it'll make the containing variable true. Otherwise, the variable will always be false. That's it for the overview of the different networks, adding comments, adding contacts and coils, and the different types in our ladder editor programming environment. In later videos, we'll go over more advanced topics.